Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to V Love and Crystal. Hope you're doing awesome. Thank you for being here. If you are new, please subscribe. If you're not, thank you for returning. We're gonna be getting into a pick a card reading called Why People Fall in Love with You. What makes you you so special and lovable in their eyes? We're gonna figure it out. I have three piles waiting for you. If you don't know which pile to choose, I would say go with your intuition first. Take some time to relax to collect yourselves, connect with yourselves, and don't make any like quick decisions always always take your time and the second option can be with your favorite numbers or colors or uh, positions how they're positions how it looks here eye candy whatever favorite favorite um i don't know if you guys like to go with the right or the left or the center it's up to you but please let me know which one you chose in the comments let's go let me know that you chose any of these piles by leaving a comment below and let's let's dive into it so you chose the amplifier crystal bottle and this is great a great buddy system you have a lot of good energy around you you can amplify amplify it with the crystal clear clear crystal quartz or if you have other crystals around you you can amplify them as well with this so that's what i have for you and now let's get into i made an impromptu spread the first one is what makes you why no why do they fall in love with you why why what is it what you need to know about why they fall in love with you what makes you confident? I'm sorry, what makes you confident? Uh, what feelings do they have that's surrounding why they fall in love with you? What are their feelings when they think about you? The other piece is, what, what did I position this for? This is, oh, um, what makes you sweet in their eyes? What makes you special in their eyes? And the last one is what they wish they can tell you if they could. All right, so the first thing I'm getting, I got cleansing. So what they think, what why they fall in love with you could be that you have a special um like purity about you look pure clear clear i'm getting purity there's something um very innocent and pure about you very very um it can be also simplistic like maybe you don't like clutter maybe you don't like um being around a thousand different people maybe you're just very simple and sweet and you're not chaotic and very easy going, very laid back, very down to earth. Simple, cut and dry, it's not complicated with you. And this could also be that maybe that you're just very, uh, very clean individual. Maybe they love that you're just well kept and clean cut, you know, for gentlemen out there who like to shave and groom themselves, for females out there who like to get their hair done and stuff like that. And they're always, they're always on point, always on fleek, if that's what they call it these days. I think they do, right? So there's something very, like, um, just very alluring to the eye. Very clean to look at, you know? Other people other people might come across a little bit, like, um, all out of sorts. Maybe their hair is all messy. Or, you know, they're having a tough day. They don't have time to do their hair. I know. I know. Sometimes I'm the same way. I'm like, you know, try to do my best. And <laughs> um, so... It can be that they just love your, your, the attract, like you just are very attractive visually. The second one is what you need to know about why they fall head over heels for you is that they know that you have a loyal and faithful heart. You're devoted, you're committed. And they know that you're not going to lie to them. They know that you're loyal through and through. You're dependable truth yeah you're honest honest that's what i get that's what i get i think it's it's, it's you know surfacey it can be like beautiful i mean beauty but it, it could also be deeper than that yeah this i think they, they love you inside and out they don't really i don't think they really care about the the surface side too much um i think they i think that because of how who you are inside is why they care what you look on the outside it's like it radiates from inside to the out if that makes sense the interior to the exterior so they love you for, for who you are inside your loyal heart and then everything just pours out 
And they're like, oh, yeah, you do have beautiful skin. Oh, you do have beautiful hair. Oh, you do carry yourself well. Oh, I like how you speak, you know. You're very intelligent. I like that you don't like clutter or whatever. Whatever the case is, I'm just, I'm just trying to get every scenario I can with this, with this spread here. The next one is their feelings. What? What is the energy surrounding their feelings for why they fall in love? Confidence. Wow. So it's it's like your confidence is is radiating. You have this big aura around you that you know, it's like the core of you. You hold yourself well, you probably speak intelligently, you probably have a um a way about you that's very graceful and very like you know, flow and just very Maybe you're very voluptuous too, and, and when you walk, your back is straight, and your chin is up, and you, your voice, you're very affirmative when you speak, and confident when you speak. Confidence. You Maybe you also are very strong with your words too. Like it says, I am unshakable. So maybe you're, you have your mind set also. Maybe it's hard to persuade you, or t hard to dis deter you, or... or, or um, control you it's like you have your own mindset and that that's another indicator that they are more into you internally than they are externally it's not really about your looks that's awesome the next one is what they find sweet about you we have autumn autumn i'm getting change maybe you have become somebody completely different from who you used to be Maybe they see the change in you. Autumn, maybe maybe the way, I don't know, bright colors. Maybe you dress in bright colors. Maybe you have a special, um, I don't know, maybe you're very like vibrant and bubbly. When I think of autumn, I'm thinking bright colors. Maybe you love decorations. Maybe you love like home cooked meals, like the, the, the meals that, that really it, it moves your stomach, it moves your heart. Like you love, maybe you love tradition. You know what I'm saying? When I get autumn, I'm thinking Thanksgiving. I'm getting like, oh, time to break out the decorations. I, that's my ritual, that's my thing. Maybe that's what they like about you, that you, you're very, um, maybe you're, you always keep up with the seasons, you know, by decorating and, and getting in the spirit. Maybe you're very spiritual. That's what I'm getting with that. Maybe you love cooking. But I'm getting also just fall, fall, change, harvesting, you know, like change, abundance. That's what I'm getting. The next one is rescue. What they could say to you if they could speak. If they were here right now, what would they want to convey to you? I feel that they want to either rescue you and take you away from your current situation. If you're trapped in a, in a relationship you don't want to be in, you're, you're faithful, so you're... you're like I said, you're loyal to your whoever you're committed to. But maybe they see that you're not happy in that situation. Or maybe they feel that they can give you better. Maybe this is like somebody crushing on you hard. And they're like, I want to just take you into my arms. And show you that this is what love is really like. And that I can give you more. I think that they want to either save you from yourself. Or save you from somebody else. Um... Or save you, or not in a, in a sense like your knight in shining armor coming to your rescue to show you what the world has to offer. Maybe they, they, they don't think that you can see the world because you're like busy or you're with somebody that's not giving you the world. And so they want to do the opposite of that. They want to show you love. They want to show you happiness. They want to show you what the world has to offer but in a broader spectrum, like on a broader level, wider range. Like, oh, I want to show you that... Um, I want, to, I want to introduce new foods to you. I want to show, introduce new music to you. I want to uh, introduce, you know, new friends to you and, and a new way of thinking, you know? So I think they want to expand your horizons for some reason. I'm getting, like, a lot of, like, ah. Like, this is, like, way, like, you can't wrap your minds around this energy. It's, like, out there. It's outrageous out there. That's what I'm getting for you, pawn number one. That's why they fall in love. There's something that they just love about you. You're just very, I think you're, like, a breath of fresh air to them. That's what I have, and I thank you for your time. Come back again for another pick a card. And if you like any of my decks, this is my Ocus Pocus. That's my Hocus Pocus inspired oracle deck. If it's on Etsy, I'll have it linked below. I'm trying to hurry up and get it up. 
This is Autumn's Delight. This is my Feelings in Bloom, also coming to Etsy soon. This is my Eye Candy Oracle, available on Etsy sooner than the other ones are. And this one is not mine, but Colette Baron Reed's Enchanted Map Oracle. Now we're on to part number two. Part number two, what's up? We have this beautiful under the sea bottle. And this is basically saying treasures, maybe something very mysterious about you, just like the ocean. You never know what you're gonna find 10,000 feet down, right? All right, let's go. The first one is, what do they love about you? We have I Smell Children. <laughs> With this one, I'm getting like, maybe you're very youthful, spontaneous, fun, playful, laid back down to earth, you know? No drama, just easygoing, ready to have fun. Fun is your middle name. That's the kind of energy that I see that you bring to the table and that they can't get enough of. Maybe you make them feel young again. Maybe you're like their youthful potion. A little dosage of like interacting with you and they feel like they are their 20 year, self, 20, year, 20 year old self again. They feel like they can tackle anything, take on anything. That's what I'm getting with that. I mean if that never resonates with you. The next one is strength. What you need to know about why they fall head over heels in love with you. Maybe they see that you are a strong character, strong-minded. Maybe physically strong. You stand firm in your beliefs. You stand, like, something about your energy where you just don't back down easily, you know? You have to, it takes, it takes, like, um, some time to, like, or not take some time, but it, in order to, to change your mind, it would, they would really have to, um, present, like, make a presentation. In order for you to, in order to be able to negotiate with you, they have to present like a, a, a bullet point or some facts, some receipts. And maybe that's what, you know, that's what they love about you, that you're not just easily persuaded or easily moldable, you know? Um, you stand firm. This is awesome. You don't want somebody who's flip-floppy, wish-washy, right? The next one is manipulated. Thank you. Their feelings, the feelings around, around the energy is saying that you're not easily to be manipulated, controlled. You have a strong sense of being spiritually, physically, mentally manipulated. I will not be controlled. Thank you. That's exactly what I was saying. I love when we're in sync. The next one is, and I, I didn't even see that. The next one is what they find sweet about you or special about you. Your endurance. Thank you. Strength, endurance. You you know, people shoot words at you. It doesn't phase you. It makes you stronger. It makes you see things from a different light. Like, oh, you know what? You acting like a fool, making, trying to make me feel inferior. Look at you. That's the type of character you are. That's the type of person that you are. Shame on you. I'm better than that. I'm, I raise above it, you know? So I think endurance in a sense where, you know, nothing gets to you, nothing phases you, nothing breaks your spirit. Nothing breaks your concentration or the, your breaks how you see yourself. You know, if somebody t tells you that you're ugly or, you know, dumb, you're like, Psst, that's whatever. I don't believe that. I, I know, I know I'm smart. I know I'm beautiful. I know I'm, I'm a strong individual. I know that I'm confident and I can do anything I put my mind to. Whatever, keep saying what you want to say. That's what I'm saying. Like, you're very strong-minded, strong-willed, driven. The next one is, oh wow, we have another one, concealment. That's the second one that came out. That's like, that for me is saying that maybe that you keep some things to yourself. Maybe that's why they find their, their they fall head over heels to you because it's like a puzzle that they can't piece together or a mystery that they're trying to solve. And it's very enticing, it's very alluring, it's very exciting trying to figure you out. It's like, Forbidden candy that they can't quite get or they can't afford it. It's just so expensive or it's very rare to find. And they want to know what the recipe is, what the ingredients are that goes inside that candy. You know? That's what I think that's what they, they, they like about you, that you're just hard to figure out. And the next one, what they could wish, what they wish that they can tell you if they could speak right now, if they were right here, right now. 
Look, magical map shifter. I feel that this is like a sense of, um... Like, a confidence boost. Not that you need to hear it, because you, you clearly don't. You, do, you don't. You're already, you're already confident and strong, and, and you're your own self, right? But I think that they want to give you a confidence boost. They, boost. they want to tell you and remind you that you are beautiful, you're intelligent, you're sweet, you, your purpose. You need to keep fulfilling your purpose. Your spirit wants you to see the world. Your spirit wants you to experience what life has to offer, what the universe has to offer you. You have so much potential. I think that's what they want you to know. You can shift and t turn into anything you wish. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you can do it. If you want to be a parent, you can make that happen. If you want to climb Mount uh, Janeiro or Mount, what's it called? I don't know, Mount Everest, you can. You know, this is like saying you can be whoever you want to be. And you don't have to do it with the eyes open. You can do it with the closed. Look, the eyes are closed. The eyes are like, I got my intuition. I got my third eye chakra. I don't need to open my eyes. I have my senses here. I just use my senses. You're very powerful, this person wants to tell you. Strength, power. You got everything at your disposal, at your fingertips. You can accomplish anything that you wish. And I'm also getting, yes, the magician. Bingo. The magician, you are more powerful than you think, and that's what they wish that you could know, that you that you need to know. You are more powerful with your looks, the way you speak, with your hands, maybe you heal with your hands. Something about you, you can do so much with your potential, with your, your energy. And I don't think you know that, so now you know. So thank you for watching, you have a lovely day. If this does not resonate, let me know that too in the comments. And I, I wish you well, I wish you luck, and let me know if this turns out or if this makes sense to you at all. All right, pile number three. What's up, pile number three? Thank you for being here. Let's see what we have for you and why this is here. So I feel with you, number three, three, you know, creativity, abundance, change, awakening. That's what I'm getting so far. Just looking at that bottle or just like touching it and seeing you know, trying to think why I put all these charms in here. Oh, I want to create an abundant and creative bottle. My daughter helped me with this too. So prosperity also spills out of that bottle. So um, let's see what we have for you. Why do they fall in love with you? Wow, we have three cards. See, another three. Look at that. Number three is ruthless. You're ruthless. Now this is basically saying that you have... There's something about the way you speak. Maybe you have a, you lack a filter. Things just, you just spit out words without really thinking about what you're saying. And it's not on purpose. It's just that that's just how you're built. That's how you function. Um, and I don't think you see anything wrong with that. That's just how you deliver your messages. And so I think they like that about you. They like that you're raw, you're blunt, you're honest, you're straightforward. You don't sugarcoat, you don't beat around the bush, you tell like it is, you wear your heart on your sleeve. Two, you're very transparent. And I think you're hypnotizing, mesmerizing. Maybe you put them in a trance. Look, I put a spell. Maybe one look at you and they're like, ah. They hear the bells, they hear the movie songs that they hear, in the, you know, like they fall in love and then they, all these movie music. Uh, soundtrack songs come and playing in their ear and they're like oh my gosh you know like yeah she sings a song and yes Winnie she sings a song in the movie and everybody just gets put under her trance under her spell right so that's probably what is their their fault is that whenever they come in contact with you whether watching your videos watching your pictures or conversating with you texting with you it's like yes master what do you want like you know they, they just they bow down to you, they just, they can't, they can't speak right, they can't function, they're just head over heels on cloud nine with your energy, like engulfed in your energy. You're maybe intoxicating towards them. Look, look at that, fire, desire. They can't get enough of you. They look forward to your fire, to your warmth. Maybe on a cold day, like the, the warm embrace. 
then that's why they, they, they find you irresistible too. Now, what they wish, um, what, what you need to know, I'm sorry, what you need to know about why they are head over heels in love with you is the fact that they, look, we have scattered here. I think that is what happens in their brain. What you need to know about this energy. What happens in their brain when they're thinking about you? They can't think straight. Like I said, they're in a trance. They're all over the place. They're like, what? What? Who? You know? Cloud nine, hello, come back to reality. Come back to the earth. Hello, we are, you're in the clouds. I think that's what happens when they're around you. Now, how do you make them feel? What's the energy around their feelings? We have happiness. So you, you do so much for them internally, externally. You probably bring them joy just by listening to your voice, by you sharing, you know, how your day was or you sharing, you know, what you, your plans are in the near future or you just saying, hey, what's up? They, they love, they look forward to that daily dosage of you. That, that, that brings them a lot of joy. That brings them a lot of, like, a distraction from their everyday scattered life or their everyday responsibilities you are the light look my light is contagious see they're attracted to you your aura your presence your, something about your spirit too I don't think it's all about like your physical like the physical appearance it's more like the energy that they feel when they're around you the next one is okay what finds you special or what makes you special in their eyes what makes them feel this way? What makes you sweet? What makes you different? We have the death card. And this, is, this speaks volumes. This is saying a lot of change you went through. You went through a lot to get to who you are. And they, they probably saw you go through that change, that transformation over time. And they see the beautiful person you've become. And maybe it was like a, such a beautiful uh, process that they got to experience. They get to they got to understand you from the very beginning stages of your growth of your journey, and now the person that you are now it's like wow. They appreciate it more because they've seen how they've seen how far you've come. Who you were before opposed to now, that's a big big difference. You know, whereas if it was somebody else finally meeting you at this phase in your life, they probably wouldn't understand you the way this person understands you they probably wouldn't get it or um appreciate you for who you are because they didn't see you from five years ago five months ago how you used to function how you used to speak you know maybe before you were very wish-washy you weren't very honest with your feelings and now you're like this this you know not saying stone cold maybe stone cold when you need to be but you're like you're not holding back because you there's nothing to lose anymore you're like i gotta be who i am Take it or leave it. And I think that's what they really find admire, they admire about you. That you don't hold back. You're your true, authentic self. And that before you weren't. You're totally different. And they love, they love, that, they love what you've become and what you've changed into. What, you, um, what your journey shifted you and pulled you in or directed you towards. And you followed your intuition. You followed the path. And they love seeing everything unfold right before their eyes. It's like intoxicating and it's also exciting it's like ooh, i, I, I want to see what else your journey is going to bring you because i can see your lights shining your light shining bright your eyes sparkling i think i think that's what they look forward to seeing the change in you and then we have what they wish they can tell you dry desert so this is this can be like maybe they're missing you maybe they're they're so dry they need to quench their thirst they need to hear from you more often or they need to they need you to check in on them they want you to see how they're doing for a change. Maybe they're, they're thinking that they... I think that their cup is feeling really empty and they want you to fill their cup of love. Again, we have a three here. Three. Three cards. Three letters, R-I-P. So I think that they're, they're, they're probably wanting some kind of like, Hey, do you care about me? I care about you so much. So do you know that I exist? dry desert alone needing water needing to survive with you and you know this is like saying 
they can't live without you. That they can't function without you. They need to know that you're okay. They need to know. And they see that it's happening, that you are on the right path. But maybe you guys just don't conversate via text or phone or, you know, hanging out. Maybe they just miss connections with you deeply. See how this lady is just by herself on this island. I'm sorry, on this, on this desert, not island. So that's what I have for you. You are just a remarkable, changed person. And you have a lot of fire in you as well. I feel that's the fire you have within you, within you and it's contagious. Just like this says, contagious. And they love that. They want, they want more of it. They're attracted to that like a moth to a flame. I'm V. You take care. Please subscribe. If you would like to exchange energy with energy with me, I will love it. My join button, which is connected to all the tiers, it helps you um, support the channel and you get something in return. And my Patreon does the same. Thank you for your support and I'll see you tomorrow.